Hey guys, this is such a bad take as you might have no noticed. Uh, JD Lance does play Magic the Gathering, and of course, a very liberal Magic the Gathering player. I did a little bit of research about him. He's basically a nobody. His Twitch channel sucks. He's looking for more subscribers, so that's probably what he's doing here. He's trying to rally the claws, but there are people who rally behind you because you are a discriminatory piece of shit, um, they're not going to stay very long. So this is the dude, uh, Scott. I I don't know why he would make this, especially, you know, I guess he's from Austin, but he does live in Texas. And his take has been pretty bad. His take is very, very bad. And his take is that, oh, JD Lance, because he plays Magic, he has set the Magic community back a decade. This is very exclusion. It, it's so funny, right? When the people who are most, they want to include everyone. This dude is probably wants to include everybody. Um, when they, the people who want to include everyone, they just exclude half the population. And he's doing this for likes. He's doing this for attention. So I'm going to bring him some. He's got 1.7 million. If you look at, the rest of his tweets, he's never got anything remotely close to this. So I'm going to bring him some attention. Maybe not the one, not the attention that he would love to get, but the attention that he rightfully deserves. Magic is crazy because it's for the nerds. Like, I'm, he's 40 years old. I'm 37. Uh, he went to law school. I went to law school. And people in law school, they play Magic. People who are Republicans, they play Magic. This is a extremely terrible, terrible thing to like say, oh, because he's Republican, he shouldn't play magic. He's put us back a decade. I don't know why so many people are liking this opinion. Magic the Gathering, when I grew up, it was for the outcast. It was for the people who didn't really have that many friends. It was for exactly J.D. Lance, where he loves playing magic. His parents don't want him to play magic, as he meant, wrote in his book. And he still played Magic, even till this day. That That's Magic the Gathering. There's so many fake Magic players, and all they want is your money for OnlyFans or Patreon. Like, you know, that Manasaurus guy, he was never into Magic. I knew him from the very get-go. His name was, real name was Anthony. His, he was never, when I talked to him, he was on some of my live streams. It just, he doesn't actually play Magic. He plays the content of Magic. So there, there's like a very dichotomy. I play Magic don't have too much time anymore, but it's really the dichotomy of what I'm going to say. And it's going to blow your mind. What I'm going to say is half the content creators that you hear don't actually have physical magic cards. I remember the MTG moderator of the largest Facebook group. Uh, she, her view of content is being almost nude in a bathtub with a few magic land. So he doesn't even have lotuses or fetch lands. I'm talking about like basic land, right? So there's a photo out there. You can take a look and see. And you're like, oh, who did it? Well, somebody else. No, she was using that photo to promote her OnlyFans page to that group where she was a moderator of. And I got flamed and that dude tried to sue me. And then I tried to say, you know, I shut him down real fast, right? He lost his job like this because he was a racist. He was racist as hell, man. Like, it's so funny, like, the, the people who would openly say, you know, oh, su you know, support all women, hashtag me too, um, and all oh, Black Lives Matter, but then when it's, like, somebody who doesn't agree with you, oh, F, F, you know, that, let's be racist as pigs now, right? Like, it, it's, it's, um, cr kind of crazy to me that, like, that these people are not like the these people and on the liberals, they don't understand what they're doing. That they're what they're doing is exactly what they accuse Republicans of doing, right? Being exclusionary, trying to make people's lives harder than it should be. Like the dude likes playing Magic the Gathering. Like what is wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. And but people in our society today, they. If you're against them, suddenly, hey, the, the, the rainbows and sunshine are over. And and this is, in my opinion, like incredibly weird to have this. And it's going to be more extreme as we go into Camilla Harris versus Donald Trump. Uh, as <laughs> There's what? 
we're in August, uh, so September, October, November. Yeah, we got we got a few months left. We have less than a hundred days left. It's only going to get more and more extreme. I would suggest that like a lot of OnlyFans models, like they are attracted to Magic the Gathering for the simple fact that there are people who would donate money. There are people who would. I mean, before that, we didn't have any OnlyFans. Like when I was a kid playing Magic, we didn't have anyone like that playing Magic. And suddenly everyone's like that. Like it doesn't make any sense. Suddenly everyone's the mana source. The mana source, I get. I guarantee you, does not play Magic the Gathering. I know this. Uh, that's our good friend Wedge, but he raised what half a million dollars from Magic the Gathering players. I guarantee you, a moderator who's half nude with just a few Magic basic lands in a bathtub. I guarantee you, she doesn't play Magic consistently or very frequently at all. I guarantee you. She's only doing this to, and then she's only moderator because, let, let's be honest, that like, you know, see, this is a family. I mean, I read the comments and I'm like, hey, this is like a family Facebook group. Why the hell are you doing this? There's little kids here. Like if this was a man doing this to all the little kids, <coughs> Dr. Disrespect, <coughs> Mr. Beast, right? Ava, Chris Tyson, <coughs> someone else, right? But it, because it's a woman posting semi-nude pictures of her, direct linking to OnlyFans, this guy will 100% support that. He'll back that. But JD Vance, who he probably doesn't know very much about, he doesn't seem incredibly... And let me let me link in this fool. Right? I kind of want to know who these people are that they would be so offended. Like, who is this guy? Like, what is... What is his deal? And why is he doing this? You know, like, he's going to get people mad. Like, he wants attention. Let's give him some, man. I mean, this is, this is a crazy dude. Like, to say this. Like, he, what... Um, what JG Vance has said about Magic the Gathering is almost identical. Shit, I can't even log in and LinkedIn with like a million mother effing texts from dudes in India. LinkedIn is a lot of people from India nowadays, I think. Okay, so Scott eats. Oh, he's a mental health educator. Which makes sense, right? Uh, oh, no, wait, hold on a second. Mental health educator hybrid. Mental health consultant. So yeah, I don't really know why people who are the most about, you know, unity and rainbows and sunshine, as long as you agree with them, then they will support you. But that's like true for anything. You don't need to disguise that. If somebody agrees with you, they, I mean, a mental health educator, what does that even mean? I'm not positive what that means, but he's going to be a Twitch star. Um, it looks like he's working hybrid uh, in UT, so he's probably living in Austin. But yeah, mental health count consult counselor. Man, maybe I should get into that, right? <laughs> anyway, bye guys.